so now we are done with two handler sign in and sign out and the next thing that we need to do is that we need to write a listener so that which can listen when the user is getting signed in and signed out and it can make some changes in state and that changes will uh, the changes in state will make the app rebuild so we will write this listener just inside the build widget So this user that we are getting from uh, this listener is very useful because it has all the credentials that we just logged in in the sign in uh, handler. So So here we will check if the value of user is null that means user is signed out and if the value of user is not null then the user is signed in. So when user is not signed in we will display the Google sign in button and when the user is signed in we will display the sign out button. So this sign in and sign out button we will uh, in initialize in a control variable and uh, we will put it in the render part so let's do that let's use the auth control and i think we will also have to declare this so let's first declare this this will be of type list widget auth control and this will be an empty list or an array but array we use as a list in flutter so it will be empty list and now we can use this auth control and here will we use the inkwell widget which is used as a button with a image as its child and it has a on tap event so something very similar to like a button so here in on tap we will add the handler that we created earlier that is the sign in handler and in the child we will use a image asset and this image uh, widget the asset method is used to render a image in flutter and there is already a image in the assets if you can see uh, here we have in the assets folder we have logins and the logins we have different icons or images of different uh, providers 
Facebook, Google, Instagram, Apple and we also need to add it in the pubspec yml like this because if you don't add it here it won't be available in the code so you need to add it in the pubsec yml and only after that it will be it will be available uh, sorry it you it won't be available in the the application it won't give any error in the code but when you run the application it won't be available so to make it available in the complete application you need to declare it in the pubsec yml so i have already done that so this is the path of the image and we will leave the else part for now and uh, or we can uh, better we can write the else part as well in the else part instead of inkwell we will use a normal text button and the text button uh, doesn't have a child property so we will remove this in fact we can just remove this also and first we will use the styling so in the style we will use button style and we will give it a foreground foreground color and we will give it blue color so all this just to give a foreground color is a too much of a work but i think that is how flutter works so we can't do much about it and after style we need to use the on press event and in the on press event we will just use the sign out handler handle sign out and i think one more property we need that is the child property where we will use a text a simple text which says sign out and we need to use a const modifier here because it's a normal text and now we are going to wrap this both uh, initialized variable inside a state this is very similar to the counter variable that is used in a default uh, app I mean that is how uh, the default app uses the state so we will use something very similar and now we all we have to do is that we have to copy this 
sorry we have to cut this and we have to put inside this set state same thing we have to do here we have to cut this and we have to put inside the set state and now this auth controller will persist as a state and when it will get initialized the f will get rebuilt and now we can just remove this widget list from here and uh, instead of this widget list we can use our auth control state here and this is the time when we should try to run our app and see how it works so let's run it and one more thing i would like to mention here which i have done uh, we need to go to firebase console and you need to go to the project settings and we need to go to the firebase project and we need to go to the project settings and in the project settings we need to mention the support email the first thing uh, we you just have to select it from the drop down because it is the same email from which you create the firebase account that is your google email that is the gmail and the second thing you need to do is that you need to add the SHA certificate fingerprints so two fingerprints SHA1 and SHA256 you need to add and there is a command to do that and this is basically the command to do it in my Mac system I use this command uh, it will work in the Mac system but it might not work in Windows and Linux but this will work in Mac so this is the command that I used and this is important for sign in to work and the second thing uh, that need to be done is that the Google sign in need to be enabled so you need to go to the authentication part and go to the sign in method and you need to enable the Google sign in if you want to use some other providers if you are doing login for uh, the sign up uh, coding for some other providers you need to enable that maybe it's Facebook or whatever provider you are doing so these are the supported providers of Firebase there is Facebook there is Apple there is Twitter GitHub Microsoft so there are plenty so these two steps are very important for sign in to work otherwise the sign in part won't work and it will give you different types of error 